Hey everybody, my name is Jordan Morrison, and today we will be talking about advanced video settings for Logic Pro 10. Now I know a lot of you guys use Premiere Pro or some of these other things, but you can use Logic Pro 10 for videos for your audio. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to activate our advanced settings. So first off, let's go up to Logic Pro 10, click on the logo there, scroll down to Preferences, Advanced Tools, and then let's go into enable all. Now I've already done this, but if you haven't already, click on that enable all button and that will be how we activate all those settings. Next, let's go ahead into the LED display. So go ahead and click on the arrow here and we want to be able to see both the time and the beats because now we're gonna use time codes. Go ahead and scroll down to beats and time. And then now you can see here you're at hour, minute, and second and you can also see the beats on the side. So next, let's go ahead and pull up the ruler that actually shows us our time as well. So go ahead and click on view right here. Click on secondary ruler. And then now you can see the time above all of your measures for the settings. And then lastly, let's go ahead and actually activate this so it records in time code and not in beats per minute or measures. So what you want to do for this one is go ahead and click on file, scroll down to project settings, general, and then we want to click on musical grid. We do not want that checked. There we go. Okay. And then we exit out of that. If you notice here, it put our measures and beats per minute on the top. And now we're actually recording in time code. This is great when you actually want to put your audio into the video software. Now it'll actually read and match up the code so you won't have any parts that are lagging or get ahead in audio or get behind in the audio with the video on time. So that should help with those settings. I hope that this can make your process much simpler when you're recording your videos.